If you've been on any social media platform, turned on the news, or have friends with any interest in the stock market, then you likely heard about the GameStop news. What once appeared to be an old brick and mortar company on the heels of bankruptcy has now found new life. And it seems the reasoning for the stock price to surge from $19 at the end of 2020 past 475 just a month into 2021 is because people are sick of Wall Street. If you have no idea what's going on with GameStop's stock, also being referred to as GameStonk, today on Life's Biggest Questions, we'll be breaking it all down for you as we ask, what is happening to GameStonk? I'm your host, Jared Bronstein. Smash that like button if you got diamond hands, and let's go! All right, so it seems there is a lot of terminology going around regarding this entire situation, such as shorting stocks, the short squeeze, and diamond hands. Although the last part seems to be more Reddit and Twitter-based. And before we break down the situation, we need to understand what shorting a stock really means. Normally in the stock market, you deposit money into a brokerage and with that money you buy stocks at whatever their value is. You then hope that the price of the stock goes up, whether it's due to exciting news or the company showing they've made a lot of money in the last few months. However it happens, at the end of the day, the goal is to buy low, sell high. Fairly simple and straightforward. Then you have short selling, which is the total opposite. You borrow shares from your broker and then sell those shares on the market, hoping the price will then go down. You then buy the same shares back at a lower price and give them back to the broker who originally loaned them to you. In the end, the brokerage gets their shares back and the person short in the stock makes a profit. How? They keep the difference in price from when they borrowed the stock to returning it. It is a little confusing, so for example, say I borrow 10 shares from my broker valued at $100 each. I then sell those shares on the stock market for that price of $100 a share, or $1,000 total, hoping the price of the same stock goes down. Then I buy the shares back. So let's say I sell my 10 shares and now have $1,000. The brokerage still needs me to return 10 shares they've loaned to me, so eventually, I need to buy them back from the stock market I sold to. If the stock market goes down, say from $100 a share to $50 a share, and I buy 10 shares, it'll only cost me $500. In the end, I return the 10 shares that the brokerage loaned to me and keep the difference, which in this case would be $50 a share for a $500 total profit. And that is what shorting a stock is. Betting the price will continue going down. And that's exactly what some of Wall Street's biggest hedge funds did. They saw GameStop was struggling over the last few years, given that people are now buying games and even consoles online. They started shorting the stock, and then the pandemic happened, which again, affected all businesses, but really seemed to be a killer blow to GameStop. It seemed like the end, so firms such as Melvin Capital decided they, along with other firms, were going to heavily short GameStop's stock. In a sense, the company was going out of business, and the guys on Wall Street wanted to accelerate that while also making a profit. And they were right. These firms were so sure of GameStop's demise, they really put a lot into shorting and made billions of dollars. It was a sure deal, nothing could go wrong, so some firms ended up borrowing more stocks than what were actually available in the market. We're talking 72 million shares, or 140% of GameStop shares were being shorted. Is this legal? I, I don't believe so. It's referred to as naked shorting, which is exactly what's happening, or so it seems, but I'm sure there's loopholes around it somehow, which makes this specific situation different. And when retail investors, everyday people like you and I, saw this opportunity, they jumped on it immediately. What was this opportunity? Well, as I previously mentioned, when you short a stock, you borrow it. So what these firms did was borrow more stock than what's available on the market in hopes the price would go down, people would continue selling the shares, freeing up more and cheaper stocks of the same company, they'd be able to then buy the shares back at a cheaper price, sell it back to the brokerage, all is dandy, everyone's happy. However, the risk with shorting stocks is if the stock goes up, the losses could be infinite, and when the brokerage asks for the stocks back, you gotta give them back. Which means if you are trying to short a $100 stock, hoping it goes down to say $50, but it goes up to 150, you wanna buy it back before it goes up anymore in an effort to cut your losses. In that example, the short seller would lose $50 as they would still need to give the stock back to the broker. If they initially borrowed it for $100 and sold it for that same price, but for whatever reason the stock went up, the brokerage doesn't care. You owe that stock and one way or another, you're going to give it back even if it means that you're losing money. This leads us to Reddit and the subreddit Wall Street Bets. Normally a page where investors call each other awful names and post their major wins and losses, this has now become a hub for over 6.2 million people, a part of the thread, up from 1.8 million just two weeks ago. It seems the page caught wind of what was happening to GameStop and realized if they bought stock and started jacking up the price due to the new demand of the stock, the short sellers would eventually need to buy the stock back. This means that if collectively, a group of people, say on Reddit, started buying large sums of GameStop, the stock will rise and the short sellers will try to get out and cut their losses buying stock in GameStop as well. Inevitably, this means the stock will continue to rise and the folks on Reddit can make profits off of the Wall Street firms who have been making billions off of everyday people for the past 
since the beginning of time. I don't know how long. This is what's referred to as a short squeeze, in which all the short sellers are literally being forced to now buy the stock at an insanely high price because their plan backfired. It most recently happened with Volkswagen back in 2008, 2009, in which it's believed a total of about 30 billion was lost among hedge funds. Now, this is just a quick summary of what's happening. We didn't even mention the brokerages, such as Robinhood, that limited and even stopped their users from buying the stock in the first place. This has led to a handful of lawsuits and politicians coming together from both sides, including AOC and Ted Cruz, to find common ground. Who would have thought that GameStop would be the thing that brings everyone together in 2021? <laughs> As always, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one down below. For now, let's put out some comments from the video. What if King Kong was real? Saj said, imagine King Kong does exist, but he's hidden in some cave or forest. That'd be pretty wild. I mean, I think Bigfoot is like a good, Bigfoot's like a good standard first. Let's find Bigfoot and then King Kong because he's like the bigger Bigfoot, right? Dorian Green said, you lost me when you said 300,000 years. Science has proven and the Bible that the earth is no more than 6,000 years old. Do you guys want to take that one? I'm just going to go on to the next comment. <laughs> what up, Maine said, there is no way a 350 foot gorilla can be hidden anywhere on this planet and not be discovered. I mean, you make a good case, but like I could also argue that there's no way, you know, an eight to 10 foot human looking gorilla named Bigfoot could be so evasive all these years. So really who's in the wrong? Anyways guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host Jared Bronstein. Whatever you do, if you buy GameStop, just all I can say is be careful because uh, you never know what's gonna happen. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't listen to anything I say. Just please be careful guys. And I hope you guys make a lot of money if you're into it. All right guys, see you later.